India has always been a major player in global aviation, one of the fastest growing aviation markets in the world. But when it comes to manufacturing aircraft, India has mostly relied on foreign companies like Boeing and Airbus. That is changing. The country is now making serious efforts to develop its own aircraft, aiming to reduce dependency on imports and strengthen its aviation ecosystem. So what's happening with the Made in India aircraft? Let's find out. The push for indigenous aircraft. The Indian government has been pushing for self-reliance in multiple sectors, including aviation. Initiatives like Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat have encouraged aerospace manufacturing within the country. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited or HAL, the National Aerospace Laboratories or NAL and private players like Tata and Mahindra are working on aircraft projects. One of the biggest moves is the push to develop both military and civilian aircraft within India. While India has already had some success with military aircraft, civilian aircraft manufacturing is the next big step. Military Success Stories India has already built its own military aircraft. The Tejas fighter jet developed by HAL is a prime example. This light combat aircraft or LCA is now being used by the Indian Air Force and is even attracting interest from international buyers. The success of Tejas shows that India has the capability to develop advanced aircraft. Another major project is the HL Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA, a fifth generation fighter jet being developed domestically. If successful, it will place India in an elite club of countries with such advanced fighter jets. The Civilian Aircraft Challenge While India has made strides in military aviation, civilian aircraft manufacturing is a bigger challenge. Unlike fighter jets, commercial aircraft require large-scale production, strict safety regulations and global certification. One of the biggest developments in this space is the Saras Mk2 a 19-seater aircraft developed by NAL. This aircraft is designed for regional connectivity and could play a big role in India's Uran scheme, which aims to boost air travel to smaller cities. Another ambitious project is the RTA-70, a proposed 70-seater regional transport aircraft. If developed successfully, it could compete with planes from global manufacturers like ATR and Embraer. Private Sector Involvement Apart from government initiatives, Indian private companies are also stepping up. Tata Group, for example, has partnered with Airbus to manufacture C-295 transport aircraft in India. This marks a shift from just assembling parts to full-fledged aircraft production. Mahindra Aerospace, another key player, has already developed a small aircraft like the Airvan 8, which is used in various countries for regional transport. While India is making progress, there are challenges. Aircraft manufacturing requires massive investment, advanced technology and global certification. Competing with industry giants like Boeing and Airbus is tough. But with the strong government support, growing expertise and private sector involvement, India is well on its way. Over the next decade, we could see more made in India aircraft in both military and civilian aviation. If India succeeds, it won't just boost the aviation sector, but will also create thousands of jobs and reduce reliance on expensive imports. So what do you think? Will India be able to manufacture large commercial aircrafts in the future? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on aviation and technology. See you in the next one.